On the square of King Tomislav, the art pavilion is being restored to its old glory. But it doesn't prevent new exhibitions. This one is called Zagreb Munich. Croatian painting and the Academy of Visual Arts in Munich. Last year, the Munich Academy celebrated 200 years of its existence. Similar exhibitions of painters who studied in Munich have been held in Scandinavia, Poland, Hungary, Bulgaria and Romania. This exhibition shows the Croatian paintings from the late 19th and early 20th century. It is explained by Irena Krasovac, a scientific researcher at the Croatian Art History Institute. Why the Munich Academy? During the entire 19th century, it was a leading art school in Europe. Before the supremacy of Paris, which began in the early 20th century, Munich welcomed generations of painters from all over Europe. There is virtually no European country that didn't have a painter at that academy. Radovan Vukovic is the director of the Art Pavilion. This was a period when the Croatian modern art was created. The next important exhibition will be called Zagreb Paris, since Paris is a second city that greatly influenced our painters. This is the first time in history that an exhibition is showing the paintings of the Croatian students from Munich and the painters of their German teachers side by side. Still lives were a favourite theme. The bourgeois class had a very important role at that time. People would go to large exhibitions in Munich or in Zagreb and buy such still lives to decorate their salons. Some paintings are notable less for their artistic value and more for the way they affect or follow the collective imagination of a people. Arriving from the Asian steppes, the Croats get their first glimpse of the sea. After the studies, the painters brought new styles to their countries. In fact, it was the former Munich students who founded the Academy of Visual Arts in Zagreb in 1907.